Okay, good morning. How are you? I think we are doing well. We are going to talk about the test today, uh, how the test is done in the in in what's the situation or in in which way uh the test also is done and what's the condition uh of t test and so on. Okay, t test is like the, this test which is allowing us to compare the means of two groups. Okay, and we have different kind of t test. We have simple t test. Uh, in simple t test, like uh, that, uh, we have we want to compare the mean we are calculating with another mean which is already determined. Like uh, maybe you are in the lab and uh, we have a reference mean, and we want to compare the mean we are calculating with the reference mean, okay? In that case, the reference mean is all, all, already there, and you know it. At that moment, we are using simple t-test. And uh, secondly, we have two samples uh, t-tests, and in that case, for example, you have two groups which are different, two size uh, samples which are different, we want to compare the mean and see if the difference between means are statistical difference or they are the same. Okay, that is, and from the two sample size, we have two ways to go. We have this t test uh, dependent t test the sample two sample t test dependent, which we are calling also paired t test. Okay, and we have two sample t test independent where they should be uh, surely uh, independent. And how to do that here from here? Let's uh, let's add to it. Uh, then from from my explanation, that means that we have three kinds of t tests we can uh, we can perform according to the condition we have t tests. Okay, okay. And the coming saying that a uh, simple t test, simple, simple t test. Okay, okay. And now the test, as it can be written. And now the data we are using here is with one. And then now the test also, because we are talking about means, that means that we have to use quantitative data to perform our t test. And now mu equal 35. In that case, it's like we are just saying that our, our, uh, our reference mean is 35. It can be other number. You can you can change change what you, you want, but well, we are just putting that one, meaning that the number is already existing. Say in, it's a reference one. Then if in your lab the reference is 12, we will put there 12. So this one is just an example. And now let us use the less left part less, and we can perform now our t test, and uh, you can see. Okay, we have already the result. Okay, the result is there, and you can see what is happening. Okay, we have p-value less than five percent. Okay, we we have to uh, remind that uh, in um, statistical community we are always using p-value to make conclusion. When p-value is less than five percent, we are rejecting our hypothesis. But what p-value is greater than five percent, we can consider. Or we can accept the H note. And here, H note, can you see alternative hypothesis given? True mean is less than 35. Okay. Uh, alternative uh, uh, hypothesis is just the opposite of null hypothesis. Okay. Then here, p value is less than 5%. You can see 2.25 um, times uh, exponent minus 16. It's very, very far from 5%, very less. Okay. We are rejecting now H notes, which are. Which then, when we are we are rejecting H note, automatically we are taking in consideration alternate hypothesis, meaning that here, uh, true mean is less than 35. Okay, that's the conclusion. Yeah, the mean we calculated is less than 25, and also the things which is good with uh, R is just is giving us as the values of this uh, mean even. Can you see the value, and you can see that is really less than 35. That is a uh, simple to test. And to perform uh, again, um, let's say talk about um, uh, two sample to test. Two sample to samples uh, t test. 
as I'm saying, we have two kind of two sample tests. First of it is uh, the first the first one is where you have the two groups which are independent. Okay, the variance also is not equal. Okay, but they are independent. Then here, uh, the command also is like to write it like that t test. Mm, but here we have the two group. Let's say we will be taking uh, education. Okay, wage one wage one related to education and uh, wage one related to uh, experience to take experience and here um alternative our alternative is equal to the two-sided we have to use two-sided things yeah mm, two sided now the first one is less and the second one is greater second one is greater that's okay and now seeing that they are not related paired me paired they are not related here i will put false Yes, and now saying that uh, we are using a variance equal. The variance is not equal again. And using also false. And now the, our confidence interval here. No. Is ninety five percent, and uh, let me close it. Run. Okay, there is something. Yes, I said it's two sided. I have less. I have a uh, greater. Yes, and now we use confidence center over there. Yeah, t test. Okay, what is happening is just what I'm just saying. Sometimes you are in R, and now we miss something, and now it can just give us many things. Can you see here? I, I was missing something there. Is yeah, concatenation to take it. That is what is happening. It's for this reason it was giving me error. Okay then we we need to be very cautious when we are in r sometimes even comma we are we are just forgetting we can miss things okay it is done now we have our result okay let me run it again and you can see yeah run it again and we have our result can you see what is happening ah uh, our p value here also is less than uh, five percent and we can reject each note and take alternative hypothesis, which is saying two difference in the mean is not equal to. Okay, that means that we have effectively um the two group are the difference between the two group is statistically different because you can understand with me that when things are the same, when making the difference, we will get zero. But here the difference in mean is not equal to zero when the difference between two groups are not equal to zero mean that they are different they are statistically different yeah and also r is giving us uh, the, the, the 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 figures of those means that you can see it from down they are effectively different that is how we are performing to the t-test of uh, Two groups which are independent, and now whenever they are dependent, eh, it's the same command only that with a small difference. Let us do that, and you will see. We will consider the same commands and so on. So only the here where we have me paired, we will put true. Yeah, this true is saying that they are the same. Okay, 
uh, they, 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 they are dependent. It's not the same, but they have a relationship, okay? And we can run, that is, and it's the same command as I'm just seeing. Okay, that is those three kind of theters we can have here. And as I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, theters is a parameter test. And the parameter test is saying that we need to uh, fill some conditions, yeah? We need to fill some condition. Whenever we are not filling these conditions, we can use non-parameters. And the non-parameter test of the test is Wilcoxon test. And uh, from our, our next video, you learn how to use the Wilcoxon test. Uh, in case, for example, you want to do T-test and now you are not filling the condition to, uh, to run T-test. That is now, I hope that you enjoy and you learn something from it. Yeah, have a good day and uh, Thank you so much for your time. Make time to watch our next videos and see what is happening from there. This one is video six and uh, you, you have to make time to watch video seven where we'll be talking about non-parametric will test. Thank you.